I'm Mary Gannon, Senior Editor with Flu Power World, and today I'm here with Mark Hoffman from Rota Engineering, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the company's ML modular uh, sensoring units. Great. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Uh, Rota has been making sensors since the early 90s. We really started in the subsea, the oil and gas market, mm -hmm. but I, my group focuses on more of the military, the construction, agriculture, mining to name a few, so okay. more of the mobile market. And my group focuses on the Hall Effect technology. So what we have in all of our sensors, you'll see a PC board mm -hmm. that actually has Hall chips all along it. And once that board is completed, it goes inside of the mechanical package, be it aluminum or stainless steel, depending upon the application. Right. And we really just need two components to make our technology work, mm -hmm. one being the sensor, one being a magnet that actually causes the Hall chips to output uh, information that goes to the microprocessor that it then relays as voltage or current or a digital output for the customer depending upon their application. Very cool. Great. So tell us a little bit about um, the modular unit. Which, which one is that here? Well the modular unit, this is part of it because we can actually make these up to 130 feet in length. Wow, that's huge. For it, a cylinder that big. For a cylinder that big. So the problem we start to run into is we can make it that big, but mm -hmm. shipping it is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that's a big truck. <laughs> so it is, it is. So what we have done is we've come up with this modular design that still utilizes the Hall Effect technology, mm -hmm. and we can actually build these in customer specified lengths so that okay. now they can easily be shipped to their facility, mm -hmm. they can be stored, they can then be built on site. So you have something that looks like this. Okay. We have a mechanical oh. connection. So this is how it mechanically connects. Sure. And then you've got the connectors that when this top goes on, that completes the circuit. And then the end user actually builds that to the length that he needs. Wow. It's very, it looks very simple and straightforward and, uh, and easy to use. Easy to use, still a lot of engineering went into this. Absolutely. This still makes use of our patented technology mm -hmm. where we place the magnet inside the cylinder okay. and it can propagate that magnetic field through the carbon steel wall to communicate with the hall sensors. Now these are some pretty tough applications it sounds like. How do you deal with vibrations and things like that with these kind of sensors? That's a great question. Inherent in this technology is very high vibration capability. Okay. We've actually tested these up to 75G at 10 to 2,000 wow. hertz for an 18-hour test. That's impressive. It is. If you look at most sensors in this industry, they do not come anywhere near that. Wow. Well, that's great. And also with this technology, we have a 60-year MTBF. And the nice thing is people don't understand that when you get to a certain length cylinder and you have an internal solution, mm -hmm. the sensor can start to bow right. after a meter or two. Mm -hmm. So again, with this technology, the sensor is now supported by the cylinder body. So and it really solves that problem for us. Strong, durable design. Exactly. So exactly. these are huge cylinders. Where exactly would they be? used mostly? A, a great application is uh, with one company we're working with right now, it's a 89 foot stroke cylinder that is actually driving a drilling machine. Okay. So they wanted to know much better the position. They had been using cable reels, mm -hmm. but they had issues where over time the cable will stretch, so it needs to be recalibrated. Sure. During ice storms, that cable gets coated and it cannot retract, or sometimes limbs get, uh, uh, you know, obstruct the uh, cable itself. So that was a very good application, but there are all sorts of applications out there for very long stroke cylinders. Mm -hmm. For example, the extension cylinder on mobile cranes mm -hmm. is a great application for this. Sure, absolutely. Those are huge, huge cylinders. Exactly. So this obviously sounds like a very custom design, so I'm sure that you want to talk a little bit about how people can kind of design these. Right. Uh, basically, Rota is an engineering company, so we are striving to have more standard products, but at the heart of what we do is we're an engineering company. So we often work with a customer to understand their parameters and their application and design a solution for them. Great. Well, thanks for being here, Mark. And you want to let people know where they can uh, get more information about the modular unit? Yes, that'd be great. Uh, please just look at our website, rota-eng.com.
And thank you for watching, everybody. And as always, visit www.fluepowerworld.com.